Welcome to Live Better Longer. I'm your host, Bill Borton. Baby boomers and other investors are looking for returns. They're looking for safety. They're looking for tax breaks. It's not often that you can come up with all of those things in one security. My guest this week, Bill Watkinson, is president and CEO of Watkinson Capital Advisors, LLC. He's responsible for implementing client asset allocation strategies, building fixed income positions, and portfolio rebalancing. Bill formed his registered investment advisory firm in 2009. He's been an advisor in the municipal bond space since his employment in 1977 with the venerable E.F. Hutton as vice president in their public finance department. Welcome, Bill. Good to see you, Bill. Thanks for coming on my show. So, Bill, why should people invest in municipal bonds? Well, the municipal bond space in the fixed income arena is gigantic. And the main reason that people buy municipal bonds is for tax-free income. And I'll give you an example of why people buy municipal bonds. We have a client that recently had a million dollars in a CD, which was yielding 2.5% taxable. So every year, he earned $25,000 in interest and in a 38% tax bracket, netted about $18,000. We would take that money and invest it in tax-exempt municipal bonds. If you buy a municipal bond in your state of residence, it's triple tax exempt, federal, state, and local. Mm -hmm. So he earned at 3% on a million dollars, $30,000 a year, tax free. So 30,000 versus 18,000 picked up an extra $12,000. That's why people want to own tax exempt bonds. Another reason they want to own tax exempt bonds is because they're safe. Second safest only to, only behind U.S. Treasuries. Mm -hmm. So in the fixed income arena, they're extremely safe. Defaults are less than five one hundredths of one percent. It's a rarity. Um, we hear about some California cities in the past, and I think uh, Puerto Rico had some issues with bonds. A major, major issue. Um, there are simply names that you avoid. Mm -hmm. There's a quarter of a million different municipalities that you could purchase. Detroit, Puerto Rico, Stockton, California, places like that are trouble zones, and they probably number 15 or 20 names like that. Very easy to avoid mm -hmm. when you can choose from 250,000 different municipalities. Mm -hmm. They're liquid, they could be sold at any time, and um, the tax exemption is the main advantage. So what is it about them that attracts people uh, to the degree that they want them in their portfolio other than the safety and the income? Uh, it's, uh, you get to a certain point in your life and uh, you might have had a business that you've been building for decades and you sell your business, and now you have a lump sum amount of money that, that you don't want to take any risk with. Mm -hmm. So somebody could be risk averse. Somebody could be, look at the stock market and say this is the 10th year of a really good stock market, mm -hmm. can't last forever. So maybe it's time to remove some of the assets that have grown with a good stock market mm -hmm. and invest it into a sticky asset with a better than average return called a municipal bond. And the tax advantages. And the huge tax advantage. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a foundation piece. They can invest in real estate, whatever their investments might be, but people oftentimes look at the municipal component of their portfolio as a foundation piece, because if it gets ugly out there and there's a financial crisis, like there was in 07, 08, and 09, the municipal bonds held up mm -hmm. very well. So you have safety, you have liquidity, you have tax, favorable tax treatment. Uh, do they require any management? 
They do require management, and uh, that depends on you know, how municipal bonds are purchased. So <clears throat> let me explain a little bit more before I get into that. I'll talk about that when we talk about municipal bond funds, ETFs, mm -hmm. how you buy a municipal bond and why they have to be managed. Okay, so shall we start at the beginning? What are municipal bonds? Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. I mean, a, a municipal bond is a fixed asset investment that are created for the public good and municipalities across the country issue municipal bonds. The purpose is being, could be a toll road, highway, hospitals, airports, sewer bonds, general obligation, uh, sewer bonds, uh, either general obligation or revenue bonds. Let's, let's look at it this way. We got up this morning, we took a shower, water. We got in our car, drove to meet here on a paved road, paved road. We crossed over the Ben Franklin Bridge. All those things, the water, the road, the bridge, are all financed with municipal bonds. Mm -hmm. Every state in the union and every territory that we're associated with issues municipal bonds. So this is how they get capital to do the things that the public expects and demands. That's correct. And they're all issued for the public good. Schools, like I said, airports, turnpikes, things like mm -hmm. that. We all use these particular uh, municipalities' services. Mm -hmm. The safety feature, as I said earlier, is very safe, second only to U.S. Treasuries. Well, the entity that issues the bonds can always raise taxes if they need to, to pay the interest on the bonds, correct? That's correct. If they have the, uh, uh, a facility called the ad valorem, that means that a general obligation bond, which is supported by the taxing power of a particular municipality, it could be a city, a town, a township, a state, if they come up short for whatever reason, they're allowed to tweak the taxes a little bit more mm -hmm. so there's enough money to pay for the bonds that you own so you get your interest in a timely fashion. Mm -hmm. So what's really nice about it is an investment like this is predictable. And you know that when you buy a bond that you're gonna get your interest every six months and when it matures or the bond is called, you're gonna get all your principal back. Mm -hmm. So Bill, hold the thought. We're going to take a break for a, word, from a, for a word from our sponsors. This is Bill Borton. We'll be back with more Live Better Longer in a moment. Price, host of a brand new show on RVN TV called Justice For All. Tune in every Tuesday at 1 p.m. as some of South Jersey's amazing attorneys share their stories and important legal information that could affect you and the people you love. Remember, that's Injustice for All, every Tuesday at 1 p.m., only on RVN-TV. Is your business growing and now you need a new and bigger building? Has your organization outgrown their facility and now it's time to expand? Do your hobbies require the need for more space? If you're paying rent, but now you want the advantages of owning, the prospect of financing, construction, and on-time completion may seem out of your reach. General Steel Corporation has the answer. A pre-engineered steel building from the General will not only look great and satisfy almost any need, but you'll save time and money. Our team will help you create your building and deliver it to your location. We offer design services to help you present your concept to board members, bankers, or for fundraising. And the General can even help with financing. General Steel is a name you know, with quality backed by a 50-year structural warranty. Call today and find out how easy it is to have the building you want. You may even save up to $20,000 with rebates. Welcome back to Live Better Longer. I'm your host, Bill Borton, here with Bill Watkinson from Watson Capital Advisors. So, Bill. Are municipal bonds for everybody or just wealthy people? I mean, who buys them? 
<clears throat> whoever wants tax-free interest and income, you could be a doctor, you could be an attorney, you could be a builder, there could be somebody like yourself, but municipal bonds in today's tax rates are virtually for anyone. Mm -hmm. It could be a person that's been planning for retirement. It could be a person that inherited money. Mm -hmm. It could be someone who recently sold their business or they're risk averse and they're fearful that maybe the stock market might be getting ready to take a tumble. Right. So the expression that we like to use is risk and predictability come at a cost. Volatility is free. <laughs> so peace of mind and predictability come at a cost. Risk and volatility are totally free. Mm -hmm. So when you own a municipal bond, it's predictable, you're going to have peace of mind, and you're going to get a better than average return. And one thing that a lot of people aren't aware of is the safety factor, and there have been more AAA corporate defaults than B municipal defaults. Mm -hmm. So you go back to the AIG period, and that's when a couple of these anomalies transpired. Well, corporate entities can't tweak the revenue to pay the interest the way true. a municipality can. That is true. So if you want tax-free income and you want a better return than CDs, treasuries, corporate bonds, municipals are the way to go, and they have been. Mm -hmm. As far as the maturity that you want to buy, do you want to buy a bond that matures in three years, five years, 10 years, 35, 40 years? The longer you go, the more interest that you, that you earn. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we manage everybody's portfolios with a modest duration and a modest average life. So, Well, the longer, the longer the duration, the more likely they'll be called at some point, isn't it? Uh, no, not necessarily. The duration is a uh, measurement of the volatility based upon interest rates of your portfolio. Okay. So, um, we, you know, if you have a modest duration of five or six years, you're going to get l very little volatility if rates go up or down. Okay. If you have a duration of 20 or 25, then the volatility is going to be greater. Our portfolios are structured with a very safe, defensive, around five or six year duration. Mm -hmm. When and if interest rates are, are higher, then we would want to buy longer bonds to lock in a higher coupon. Mm -hmm. But that's not the environment that we're in today. Okay, so now you talk about you buying bonds. Can the average consumer go buy bonds on their own or would they buy them through an intermediary? How does that work? The way people purchase municipal bonds, they buy them through an asset manager like Vanguard or Fidelity, or they can be a do-it-yourselfer and buy bonds through Vanguard or Fidelity. They could buy them through uh, a municipal bond fund a municipal bond ETF, exchange traded fund. Mm -hmm. They can buy them through a bank or they buy them through brokerage firms, wirehouses, you know, Morgan Stanley, Merrill Lynch, Wells Fargo, places like that. There are, or a firm like ours which specializes in municipal bonds. There's a number of disadvantages in owning a municipal bond fund or an ETF. We'll talk about municipal bond funds. A disadvantage. The fee that you pay is normally greater than a fee that we would charge, but you know that when you own a separate bond in our portfolio, there's a stated maturity. Mm -hmm. You know that bond's going to mature in eight or nine years. You're going to get all your principal amount back. You're going to get all the interest that you're entitled to. If you own a mutual a municipal bond mutual fund, there is no maturity date. It's in perpetuity. So the fund manager is buying and selling bonds all the time. Correct. Bonds mature. They take that money. They buy long bonds. They could be 35, 40, 50 years of maturity. Another 
major disadvantage is the poor decisions by your fellow shareholders. If they panic out of a situation, and I'll give you a good example of that, if they panic out of their position in a municipal bond fund and you feel that you want to hold on to it, you don't want to sell yours, the share value will dissipate dramatically. Mm -hmm. It'll decline because other people say, we have to sell. We want to get out. The example, in 2010, Meredith Whitney was on 60 Minutes, and she inaccurately forecast that there would be hundreds of billions of dollars in defaults, hundreds of billions. Everybody in our business looked at each other and said, where did that number come from? As it turns out, in that time frame, there were only eight or ten billion dollars in defaults, and they're non-rated bonds. The size of our market is 3.6 trillion. Hmm. So that was a drop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. Well, bad news sells, Bill. Bad news sells. So what happens over the next eight or nine months? People panicked out because of her mm -hmm. and all the publicity. So mom and pop sold their bond fund. A total of 30 to $35 billion came out of bond funds because of what she said. So now you're sitting in cash, eight or nine months go by, and you realize she was totally wrong. Mm -hmm. All the experts and all the people realized she just made this inaccurate remark, and they want to get back in. Well, they might have sold bonds at 5%, and now that the bond market has rallied, they're reinvesting their money at 3%. So that's the old buy low and sell high in reverse. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they sold low, and they want to reestablish their position, and they're going to be buying yields. It, it was a travesty mm -hmm. how many people uh, were scared out of their positions. So that's one of the disadvantages of owning uh, an ETF or a municipal mutual bond fund. Makes you wonder if she was put up to it by a market maker. <laughs> we won't go there. No, we're so. not going to go there. So, so you've told us about uh, ways that people can buy bonds, either in funds or ETFs or individual issues, uh, and who you can buy them from. Uh, so do you, you know, I, I guess buying individual issues through a experienced low-cost provider like you would probably make the most sense, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Okay. With our expertise, and just to give you an idea, uh, for a do-it-yourselfer, and I had some clients who like to do this themselves, and I look at their portfolio and I say, okay, I'm going to show you the professional side of the business, how we do it, mm -hmm. and normally after six months or a year, they say, I get it, I see it, here, you manage these <laughs> assets. Because... When you buy a bond through a wirehouse, Merrill, Morgan, somebody like that, the bond that you're purchasing has been through at least three profit centers. Mm -hmm. So the price goes up. The price goes up 15, 20, 25, 30 dollars or more. Think about that. Somebody buys a million dollars worth of bonds. That's a thousand bonds and they pay a markup of 25 or $30 a bond. That's 25 or $30,000 over and above the price that they should be paying. Mm -hmm. Our methodology makes that go away. Mm -hmm. So they're very, very profitable uh, departments within those wirehouses. And uh, the salesman has to get paid, mm -hmm. the traders have to get paid, the advisors want to get paid for the bonds that they bring in for sale. Mm -hmm. so. so we're going to take another break for another word from our sponsors. And when we come back, we're going to learn more about Watkins, Watkins and Capital Advisors and how they manage bonds. Thank you. If you need space, you need the general. When did you see the sign? When I needed to jumpstart sales. Build attendance for an event. Help people find their way. Fast Signs design new directional signage. 
and got them back on track. Get started at FastSigns.com. I'm Casey Price, host of a brand new show on RVN TV called Justice For All. Tune in every Tuesday at 1 p.m. as some of South Jersey's amazing attorneys share their stories and important legal information that could affect you and the people you love. Remember, that's Injustice for All, every Tuesday at 1 p.m., only on RVN TV. Is your business growing and now you need a new and bigger building? Has your organization outgrown their facility and now it's time to expand? Do your hobbies require the need for more space? If you're paying rent, but now you want the advantages of owning, the prospect of financing, construction, and on-time completion may seem out of your reach. General Steel Corporation has the answer. A pre-engineered steel building from the General will not only look great and satisfy almost any need, but you'll save time and money. Our team will help you create your building and deliver it to your location. We offer design services to help you present your concept to board members, bankers, or for fundraising. And the General can even help with financing. General Steel is a name you know, with quality backed by a 50-year structural warranty. Call today and find out how easy it is to have the building you want. You may even save up to $20,000 with rebates. If you need space, you need the General. Welcome back to Live Better Longer. I'm your host, Bill Borton, here with Bill Watkinson from Watson, Watkinson Capital Advisors. So, Bill, you told us a little bit about uh, your firm and what you do, but dive, do a deeper dive into the process. What really makes you guys different? What can people expect when they work with you? Well, it's our methodology, and in a nutshell, it's uh, we're shoppers. So we buy wholesale and we sell retail. Everybody owns individual bonds. Mm -hmm. They have a state of maturity. They're all investment grade. They're typically in the state where that client resides. So you're not marking them up. You're buying wholesale, as you put it, on volume. And then you're basing those orders on what you expect the demand will be among your clients. Yeah, before we buy any bonds, we know that we have a home for that particular issue mm -hmm. when we purchase those bonds. The client, because we're in a fee-based business, pays the exact same price as we paid when we bought those bonds. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> there's no markup and diversifi diversification. Depending on the amount of money that we're managing, we'll diversify five or 10% of that money in, in separate bonds. So if somebody gives us a half a million dollars, they might own five or six different issues. Okay. And um, when we're given a sum of money, regardless of what it is, in order for us to locate the bonds that we think are appropriate for that client, eliminating those three or four middlemen, it could take us six to eight weeks to structure that portfolio. If you give your money to a wirehouse, you give them a million dollars, they could have that money invested in 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Because what they're doing is they're buying the inventory that their firm owns. And they say, well, Bill just gave me half a million. I'll buy him 50 of that, 50 of that, 50 of that. And those advisors are preoccupied with a number of different things, their job. Mm -hmm. So in order to know what the proper level is for a double A rated Haddonfield, New Jersey bond in eight years with a particular purpose, you have to be an expert like ourselves. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to do is give you my contact information now. Yeah, so, yeah, Bill, please. So if people who are watching our show want to talk to you about municipal bonds, and they could be individuals or other financial advisory firms, what's the best way to reach you? I think the best way would be to visit our website, Watkinson Capital Advisors. Uh, my phone number, our phone number, is 484-588-0120. Or you can email bill 
at watkinsoncap.com. Mm -hmm. And you guys are located out in King of Prussia, correct? We're located in King of Prussia. We do business nationally. Mm -hmm. We do business in 30 different states. Okay. And um, our clients are happy. Now, you guys are registered investment advisors, which means you're fiduciaries. That's correct. And you have to maintain the best interest standard of your clients. And your clients are individuals, but you also buy bonds and manage bonds for other financial advisors. Is that correct? That's correct. Half our business is our own end clients, mm -hmm. and the other half of our business is we sub-advise for other registered investment advisory firms, RIAs. Mm -hmm. Our clients include family offices, insurance companies, but 60% of municipal bonds are owned by individuals, 60%. Mm -hmm. So they're our clients. Gotcha. So in the final moment or two that we have, Bill, before we wrap, uh, just tell me one or two things that the viewers should know about what's going on out there in what you call bond land. Yeah, in muni bond land, um, <clears throat> here's what's going on. I mean, uh, the first six months of this year, um, the, the first quarter of this year, was the worst quarter in municipals in 15 years. Really? And the bond has recovered. I mean, the bond market has recovered. And the reason being is municipalities, be it cities or states, are borrowing less money. Mm -hmm. What transpired the last month of the last year, because of the tax law, Congress no longer allows early re refinancing. Mm -hmm. So there was a rush to bring a lot of deals, a lot of borrowings to the marketplace in December. So that somewhat emptied the forward pipeline. Mm -hmm. The result now is the demand continues to be great. There's less supply for the reasons I just said. Mm -hmm. And bond values are going up. Yields are going down. You could have purchased in March a California bond in eight years that yielded three and a quarter percent. Today, same bond, 3.07%. Hmm. So yields are down because prices are up. Demand is extraordinary. Mutual funds and ETFs are gathering, on average, a billion dollars a month for the last five months. So the demand is huge. Mm -hmm. We suspect that supply will start to pick up. It's, it's, uh, it'll happen in the fall, but uh, Citibank projects that this year, total issuance of municipal bonds, 2018, will be down around 25%. Wow. Typically, 400 billion is the average amount that comes to market. Up until this year, approximately 40 or 45 percent of that issuance was refundings or refinancing outstanding loans. Mm -hmm. If there's a five or six percent coupon municipal bond out there and a municipality can refund it or refinance it mm -hmm. at three percent and save millions of dollars in interest payments, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, thank you, Bill. You've been most informative. You've been giving our viewers the big picture and individual counsel, and hopefully a number of people will be in touch with you about adding munis to their portfolio. Thank you for being on the show. Well, thank you pleasure. for inviting me. I enjoyed it. This is Bill Borton. Look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at 11 on RVN-TV for another installment of Live Better Longer. Thank you.